Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl here. I hope you all are doing good. So today's topic uh, which we are going to take is again from incident management. So people who are using incident management, they would be aware about this part or this particular field called templates. So people who are using it, they would know its significance, its use and it's used across the application. It's not only incident management, it's used in different modules, incident problem change, it's used in across the applications. So today what I will do, I will explain you what is a template, how we use this in incident management and also we will see if we create a template here in, uh, you know, in PMC Remedy, will it be accessible automatically in uh, Smart IT. So this is what we are going to see today. So let's get started. Okay, now uh, people who are using these templates on incident management, they know that what is the purpose. So just to keep it simple, I would, uh, you know, help you understand this template part and also how to define it. That also we will see. So now, you know, uh, as a service desk person, uh, you have to create multiple tickets and on daily basis. So uh, you would be creating tickets related to certain issues. You will be generating some requests related to the you know end users, customers whom you are dealing with. So, uh, but you know there is one thing uh, which is quite common across the organization that most of the cases which are uh, you know which come to a service desk individual on daily basis is you know uh, the information or everything which he uh, you know uses to create a ticket is all repetitive information for example there is an issue related to somebody's laptop or somebody's email or somebody's desktop or any other issue or somebody wants a you know new drive access or a new laptop to be issued to somebody then you know the information which we fill for everybody is same so the only thing which will change is his name the customer information will change uh, or the if there are approvals related that will change <coughs> but the most of the information remains safe so now to you know uh, to cater certain uh, things where you know to speed up the process of these tickets we know there's automation there's ai but this is just uh, you know if you are creating things manually so we use these templates so templates what they will help us is just a basic thing you predefine something in a uh, in a form in a table and then when you want to use it you can use it you can uh, use them to create tickets you know uh, to increase the process of creating tickets or you can speed up your process of defining the um, incidents or uh, requests so for example here in the template for example if i search something like this so let's say i needed to create a ticket with for a server so you can see with my uh, three four characters it has given me some options so let me select this one so I selected this option. So you can see some of the fields are automatically populated here. Okay. So this is what template does. So what we will do, we will create a new template and we will show you how to create a, you know, how to use it in the, uh, with the existing templates. Now to create a new template, we have to go to the template section. So how we can go there. So let me go back here in the incident console. Okay, so we can go there through this console application administration. And in the application administration, I have to go to custom console. I'm just showing you the basic way of, you know, accessing it. So here I can say incident management. Then you can see here there's a template and I would say template. I'll double click. Okay, now it will give me a table. So these are the all uh, defined templates currently in the system. So 
these are all uh, templates which have been defined and which are being used by different people so you can also perform a search here in the um, section before you want to create any template you can if you see if you somebody has already created or you can use it so now to create a new template i need to click here on the create so it will open up this uh, oh, pop-up window okay now the first thing you will give it as a name so what i will say email server issue i am giving it a random name you can use your own uh, convenience as per your organization needs you can define this name now we have given a name uh, to the template so what i will do i will create a template uh, for email server issues you can use your own uh, you know uh, naming convention for your convenience okay now uh, you have to define the template you know hierarchy if i select here something on the table there's already a hierarchy defined but you can also define your own hierarchy so i would say email hierarchy then i would say if there is anything inside it so i would say no email then let me define something called server and i will leave it as it is okay then uh, here i have to define the template sta uh, status currently i need to make this uh, template useful or sorry uh, to an um, uh, active for our users i would say any but but if you want to draft a template before doing anything then you can uh, put it to proposed state then sort order is the sort order of the template you can define that that let me go here in the summary i would just copy this summary but you can type your own summary whatever summary you want for the template then if you want to populate notes you can define the notes then similarly if you want to um, define reported source you can define it then incident type it's a user service request or user service restoration i would say user service restoration similarly the status you can define what status you want the ticket to be so i would say assigned then status reason impact urgency you can also define these terminologies okay then i would say medium and priority will be automatically defined then categorization also you can define like product categorization operational categorization for example let me define the operational categorization i would say change server and let me see here let me define only this okay then i have to define the mm, assignment that uh, which group this particular uh, you know ticket should be assigned so that also i can define here or i can keep it as blank so whatever fields i need to be pre populated for in the ticket using this template i can define it so let me define this group okay would say caliber services would say let's say it support and then i would say front office support okay then you can also define the relationships you can search for the relationship if you click here on the relationship type you can say there's a only one relationship i can define is the configuration item so you can also relate a ci with the template that means when the ticket will be created automatically it will you know uh, attach that ci with the ticket itself so we will not do that resolution you can define in case you want to define certain predefined fields then uh, authored for a group means the permission so this uh, template will be given permission to this group so this group will be only able to uh, use this template so i would say calibro services then i would say it support and front office support okay and then what we will do we will save this template okay so my template has been saved now we can see here my group is frontline support which has a permission to this particular template. so you know in templates when you define in a system we give permissions to different groups for different templates so different teams use their own templates and there is a segregation between uh, teams for the template so they cannot use each other's template or modify each other's template now let's see let me go back here
okay now let's go back to the the incident management and see if we can access this okay so we are uh, here in the incident console i will click on create so now what we have done we have already defined a template so let's see if it is accessible here the template so we will see here uh, whether it is accessible or not so let me type the uh, the template name here and then let's see so you can see here when i selected or, or when i typed the email i have got my template here it is listed there in the list i will select it and then you can see here once i selected it it has populated all the information from the template into the incident now you know my all uh, fields have been populated based on the information which was provided in the template so categorization also you can see which i had selected in template is populated here so this is the you know um, main use of template which helps us in defining or you know pre populating the fields which are basically of either of repetitive use or we are using them on daily basis or we are creating multiple tickets then we can use this template so then uh, it helps us in uh, speeding up the process of creating the incidents changes or any other application which we are using so currently we are using incident management so it is defining it in the helping us in uh, creating multiple incidents now uh, i will take you to uh, smart it console and let's see whether this template is accessible there or not because let's see here you can see here um, i have create uh, you know i am on a new incident creation console where we are creating a new incident and then here there is also an option you can see incident template option where you can perform a similar search as we have done here there in the mid tier so you can see here i will type the you know again the email name and let's see so that you can see the email server template is automatically um, you know available here i can select it and here also it will pre populate my fields as per the template so uh, this you know defines that you don't have to define template at two places if you define here there in the mid tier then automatically the templates will be available here in the uh, smart it as well so whenever you define a template so make sure that it is accessible to your group and then when you log into the smart it if you have permissions the template will be accessible to you as well you will be able to see the template there also so you can see here uh, we have you know defined templates we have um, seen that if templates are defined at one place they are accessible in both smart it as well as the mid tier i hope you are liking my videos so this was it from my from the template uh, video and uh, in future i'll be bringing you more videos more such information so please subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so you'll get the notification in advance